We are talking about color grading a lot lately and also today I am going to talk about color grading too. Hey guys, this is James. Welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the creative tab in Adobe Lumetri color effect. So how you can color grade your video using the creative tab in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's find it out. If you want to download the footage, you can download it from the link in the description below. I will put a link in the description. So if you open the video, then you can go to the color workspace so that we can see the color panel in a better way so here is our video now let's go to the creative tab from the lumetri color panel if you don't see lumetri color panel then you need to go to window and from here you have to enable the lumetri color let's enable it and from here if you click creative then you will see some option so what color change we can do using this option right so the first one is look if you want to apply any color grading LUT then you have to use this option there are some pre-built LUT that you can use if you select any of them then that LUT will applied on this video and then you can change the intensity of the LUT using this option right you can increase or decrease the intensity of that LUT and if you want to use your custom LUT then you have to select browse and from there you have to browse where you have saved the LUT and then you have to select that LUT right so that's it that is how you can use the LUT right next option is adjustment using the adjustment you can change several things the first one is faded slim if you want to have a faded look on a video then if you increase it it will have a faded look you can do the same thing using the basic adjustment let me show you how you can do that if you go to basic correction then under basic correction you'll see a option which is black if you increase the black then it will also have a faded look just like that faded slider right so you can do it from here otherwise you can just do it from here if you increase the faded slim it will do the same thing and if you want to undo the changes then you can just double click on that slider it will reset the changes right and next the sharpen slider if you want to make your video sharp then you can increase the sharpen slider just increase it and you will see the changes here right so here you can see the video is looking so sharp now and if you decrease it it will make the video blur you can see it has added some blur on your video usually on my video i add some sharpening I add maybe 10% or 15% for my videos, right? Then the vibrance. Vibrance is a slider where you can add color to your video. So when you are recording a video, there are some colors that are very prominent, right? So when you are increasing the vibrance, it will not touch those color. It will just increase the color of the muted tone, right? So here, if I decrease it and increase it slowly you can see it is increasing the color of the muted tone of this video but if you increase the saturation it will increase the color of overall all of the colors on your video right if i increase it you can see it is affecting all of the colors here on the video if i show you here on this video if i increase the saturation it is increasing the color of all part of my video right and if i increase the vibrance it is just increasing the color of the muted tone which is something that you may want for your video sometimes right and next let's to the next section which is shadow tint and highlight tint so this is a video that i have color graded right but if you want to add a different look to a video maybe you want to add separate tone on the shadow section and if you want to add a separate tone on your highlight section you can do that using this option but it will not protect the skin tone it will apply the color on whole of your video i will not suggest you to color grade the video using this color wheel so here if i just click and drag this slider here on the teal color it is increasing teal color on my shadow section right maybe this much okay and if you want to include a warm tone on your highlights then you can click and drag it towards the orange or yellow color so it is adding separate color on your shadow and highlights if i show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after i will not suggest you to color grade your video in this way and also you can change the balance maybe you want more teal color on your shadow then you can just click and drag it on this side and if you want to have more warm tone on your highlights then you can click and drag this here on this side right so this is a balanced slider so that's it that is how you can use creative tab under lumetri color in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye